Welcome back to Black Star Dove. Welcome back to my channel. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get the fast stuff out the way right quick. Uh, I need you to give me that HBO special, which means help a brother out. Shout out to the Poor Man's Podcast. Um, trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. Go ahead and click that like button to subscribe. It's free. Um, the reason why I went through my intro really, quick, really quickly because this is a serious story. I wanted to talk about Lauren Smith Fields. So I've been doing a whole lot of research on this, and this story just gets just, this gets crazy. Uh, at the beginning of this year, I made a video about what I would like to see more things happen with Black YouTubers, and how I think we should put the community at the forefront. And we can't put the community at the forefront if we're not taking care of our own. If you don't know the story of Miss Lauren Smith Fields. Um, Pretty much, she met a gentleman by the name of Matthew Lafont Matthew Lafontaine, or La Fountain. I'm gonna say La, La Fontaine. Um, it sounds a little bit French. Um, she met this gentleman. He was uh, in his fifties. She was 23 years old. Um, apparently, they met on the app called Bumble. Um, Bumble is a app where a woman has to make the first move first. Um, but they met on Bumble. They, I guess they knew each other for like three days uh, from what the stories I am seeing. Um, and then they were at her house. According to him, they didn't do anything sexual and she just ended up dying. Um, the police did not really question him or um, detain him. They just let him go. And there's been a huge travesty ever since. Uh, especially when it comes to the family and the police working together. Um, these are some of the things that the representative, the family's representative has stated that the family found out that she only died because the landlord told them about it after they wasn't, after she wasn't answering phone calls and texts, text messages, the family went up to the um, location to go do a wellness check. That was then when the landlord let them know that she had passed away. So that that's one thing. Um, we, as of right now, the police have not requested from Bumble the records of the conversations. Um, the Bumble CEO has been on record saying that he would be happy to give them to the police if the police were to ask. At this point in time, um, the Bridgeport police did not ask for those records. Um, as we stated, as, as I stated before, the young lady, the man, Matthew LaFontaine, said that they never had any sexual activity. Uh, and according to the representative of the family, the crime scene was not properly investigated because they found a used condom with semen in it. And the police were not able to find that. So they turned that to the police. And according to the representative, when he last he checked with the forensics lab, the Bridgeport police did not submit the evidence to them as of yet. So it's just a whole lot of foul play going. And, you know, there's a whole lot of covering up going on. Um, and then, like, like, the biggest thing is that the black community turned on her viciously. Um, there are all type of videos of people um, making jokes about because she was going out with a white man. And then this is what happens with the swirlers. And then the swirlers were, they didn't want to pay her any attention and all that stuff because that, that made them look bad. It was just a bad, bad situation altogether. And I know there's a black man versus black woman war. And in war, there is no such thing as going too far. And war, that's what it's called. It's called war. You use everything to your advantage. But if you go back to that video that I'm referencing, when I said I have a message for all black YouTubers, I said the war is stupid. No one's winning. Not me, not you, not anyone. So instead of focusing on this war, let's focus on building a better community and protecting our own. We can no longer protect this woman. She's dead. But what we can do is make sure that she gets justice. Uh, I have a small platform and I'm encouraging every black YouTuber to spread the word. There are people with far bigger platforms than me um, to spread the word. Get them to spread the word. Inbox them. Um, comment on, on their 
comment on their on, on their channels. Like I'm talking about every YouTuber, even if they don't do nothing like that. Like even the big YouTubers like MKBHD, we should be at their necks saying, "Hey, we should be. We want this for our people." Um, and she should. She's just the first one. There's plenty of other women. There's plenty of other men who never got their justice, and we have to stand up and do something right by them. Uh, I am calling for every anyone who's a supporter of mine to at least don't you don't have to repost my video i don't care if you repost my video repost an article retweet it it could be from a credible news source like you know fox news cnn whatever you want to do, the bbc whatever you want to use just get the word out there and get the information out there so this case can get national headlines like it's supposed to recently cardi b tweeted out about this story so of course, she has millions of followers. So I, this gaining traction, uh, people like Roland Martin, um, I believe even, even Dr. Umar even commented on it, Tyreek Nasheed. So we're going to make sure we try to get this young lady justice. And the family needs to have our full support because it seems like the Bridgeport police are not communicating with the family. They're not talking to the family. And that is a problem. And the family is currently suing them. So we I guess we have to see how that goes. Um, but this man, Matthew Lafontaine, should at least be detained, be questioned, because he at least lied. He said that they didn't do any sexual activity. Right now, there is a condom with semen in it. And if it's proven to be his, he should be arrested on the spot. So that's just how I feel. Um, again, this is a short video. So I really hope if you're like... I don't care like if you're not black please do it as well but if you're black and you're watching this please spread the word out and help hope to get this woman justice because a lot of people turned their backs on her when they found out that she was going out there a white man but that's still a black woman that's still somebody's sister someone's daughter we know that for sure also know yeah, okay, yeah also know that she was a sister because i you know i've seen videos of her brother so let's you know, let's, let's, let's take care of each other. Um, that's it. Take care. I love you. Do the right thing. At least I try to every day. Peace.